Welcome to the Metrodome in Minneapolis for the 1985 Major League All-Star Game. More than 55,000 fans will be on hand at game time as the finest players in baseball perform on a national stage. Which stars will shine brightest tonight? After all, those one-on-one -on -one battles have been at the heart of the All-Star drama and mystique since the very beginning. There was Carl Hubble striking out five future Hall of Famers in a row, starting with Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Later, Ted Williams accepted Rip Sewell's challenge and became the first ever to hit the Epis pitch out of the park. And a classic confrontation between Hall of Famers Willie Mays and Whitey Ford. The Say Hey Kid won this one with a homer. Warren Spahn was one of the greatest southpaws of all time, but this matchup belonged to Mickey Mantle. Other meetings are even more direct. This moment, as much as any other, has defined the playing style of Pete Rose. Tonight, new stars are out, and new head-to-head -head competition is possible. Can Jack Morris handle the powerful Dale Murphy? The Mets' Dwight Gooden pitched on Sunday, but he might get in for a couple of hitters tonight. Could one of them be crosstown rival Ricky Henderson? And what about a rematch between Fernando Valenzuela and George Brett? Last year, Fernando struck George out. In a sense, baseball is the most individual of team sports. And on this night, the prospect of dream matchups is what captures the imagination.